hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is winfrey thank you for passing by please subscribe down below and click on that notification bell that's just down there so that you're one of the first people who get to be notified when i upload a new video i do upload every single week so you might wanna click on that so that you are notified every single time i upload a new video so as on today as you cannot tell by the title of this video i'm going to be talking about some of my shoe regrets it's like it's going to be more like shoes i regret buying or shoes i've outgrown in style because over the years i've really changed and i feel like i've outgrown some of the styles that i used to love before and i feel like it's not a thing anymore so these are shoes that i i won't say that i hate but I just don't love them anymore and i'm sure i'm not the only one most of us ladies tend to buy things that we don't really use and just keep and stuff so i don't really want to waste much of your time let's just dive into this video and get to show you one by one so that next time when you go for shopping you might want to be a little bit more specific and particular in your next pair of pumps so i hope you do enjoy this video and without further ado let's just dive right into it so the very first shoe we're going to be talking about is uh, this right here. Now this, I will not really say that I hate or dislike, but uh, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see that, it's still brand new. I've never worn it before and mind you, this shoe is almost a year, if not already one year, just sitting in my closet. I bought this shoe on sale and it really looked cute. The reason as to why I've included it in this video is because we tend mostly to, we most of the time we tend to buy things that we don't really use and that's not a good thing. So we need to be saving some money instead of buying things just to sit around in our closet. So this shoe actually, I, I won't really say I hate, but it's been sitting way too long in my closet and I don't really know when I ever gonna wear it. So, I don't know. Next up is this shoe right here. I bought this shoe on uh, Jolly Chic. I bought this on Jolly Chic. It looked really nice when I saw it on the website, but I did not really buy this shoe like this. It was just a normal strapless, like a bare heel without this. I did a little DIY because really I did not like the fit of this shoe by the time I got it like when they delivered it I tried it on it was really very uncomfortable I tried wearing it and like I my feet would easily slip out and though so I came out with the idea of adding up something and then I, I, I I've always wanted this design of a chain on the shoe so I did my little DIY and by then I wasn't I wasn't uh, doing YouTube videos so I don't really have <laughs> the video of that DIY but it kind of came out nicely though if someone looks really close they might tell that it's a diy it still looks nice on the feet but like i can't just wear it with like dresses or a short thing i need to wear it with bigger pants that can cover it until here so that this part doesn't really show because i don't like um the chain that i used is gold and the strap like this thing that uh, i don't know if you can see this it's silver so to me that doesn't really look good and that's why this i regret buying next up are these shoes this blue now these shoes i won't really say i hate i don't hate mind you i don't really hate any of my shoes i bought them simply because i loved them by the time I bought them, I really loved my shoes. So I won't really say that I hate my shoes, but I can say um, the safe word is outgrown. I've, like this is a very nice one, and it has a very good quality. The brand name is called Mary Mary Paz. It's a very nice brand. It's a very beautiful quality. In fact, I had bought two of the same designs, but in different colors. And one of the the other color i gave it away to my friend so i i got uh i stayed with this blue one the reason as to why i've included it in this video is because first is the color it's too bright 
this is not some shoe that you can easily wear with everything you have to really use here to be able to pull this off like this is more of a statement shoe that you cannot really wear it with just anything and I'm mostly a person of pants I always wear pants I yes I do wear dresses and shorts but not a day not on a daily basis so me wearing blue pants and then I'm wearing this blue shoe and then it becomes too much this is not a shoe that you can wear every single day so that's why I've only worn this shoe once I took pictures in it and ever since then I think it's been now it's coming to four years I've never worn this shoe again and I don't really know if I'll ever wear it again it's just too much the design is too much the lace up thingy I don't know I feel like this is not for me anymore this isn't my style anymore I love the shoe but I just don't want to be keeping stuff just for the sake of keeping them and that is the reason as to why I'm doing this whole video so that you guys get to buy things that you really are gonna use versus things that you buy for keeps if you get what I mean so this shoe is a beautiful shoe but it's been sitting in my closet for years without being worn and that's the reason it's way too much and I'm a simple person at least I've become one so the next pair is this right here I loved everything about this shoe I love the color because it kind of complements my skin tone I love the rose gold I really did love this shoe but the problem with this shoe is it has like it has these metals right here when you wear it it, it only actually happens on one feet I don't know I, I can't really tell you which one exactly but every time I wear this shoe I feel like I kind of get blisters on my feet and it's usually very painful I can't really move in these but when you see this on my feet they look really gorgeous it's a very gorgeous color and as you can tell these are new I, the very first time I tried wearing it and that's the time I noticed that they are painful we it like I wore it on a party and ever since then I've never wore these shoes again these are almost two years and they're just here for no reason I cannot wear this again maybe I'll just keep this for just for the display because they really look beautiful really uh, like I've been having so many shoe um, problems in that nowadays if I get to buy shoes I don't like to buy shoes online anymore so every time I want uh, like a, I mostly go in stores I first try on the shoe I walk in it several times before I be like yeah this is it because of this because of what's happening I've bought some of the shoes I've shown you I bought them online and I didn't really get what I was expecting like this other one expectations versus reality it was too thin i can't really walk in it my my feet were slipping out so i had to do a little diy on top of what i um initially paid so it all becomes totally not worth it so these are one of them i won't really ever get to buy, wear these again and i really love them i love the color i, I hope i wish i can get to buy something that is more like this in the future next is this shoe right here now these i really love i love this shoe but the reason as to why i've added it in this in today's video in the shoes that i kind of regret buying is because it's red it's very bright this is a statement shoe these are the kind of shoes that you do not really get to wear every day because like it's too bright if you do take pictures in this like they are easily noticed in that if you ever get to be spotted in them in them again it will be like is that the only pair that she wears <laughs> if you get what I mean so I love these I wore them once and honestly speaking I've never worn them outside again I tried wearing them again indoors but just for picture purposes again i wore these outside once and i wore them just recently for pictures indoors so i don't know if i'll ever get to wear these again 
I don't know. Next up is this shoe. Now I bought this shoe because of this design and I like the color because I did not I, I didn't have any white shoe in, in my shoe collection when I saw this and it was on sale that was one of the intriguing reasons as to why I bought this shoe it's really cute and it looks good on the feet as well I wore it once I don't think I'll ever wear this again because of the style at least I do have pictures for that very first time I wore it I took pictures and they're really cute but not for me not anymore I really love the moment I saw this pair I jumped really guys if you saw me jumping to this pair I was so happy when I saw just look at how beautiful this shoe is it's so cute I love the design even though I hate snakes every time I see this it reminds me of a snake but I just bought it because of this like the way this silver pops through it's so beautiful I love it the reason as to why this fit, this shoe is among the shoes I regret buying. This is a very beautiful shoe, and I'm into these stilettos. I'm into the the pointy tip kind of shoes. Really, I love these shoe styles. But the problem with this particular shoe is it's very uncomfortable. Like I do not have a lot of flesh on my feet, so when I wear these, like I feel like I'm just sinking in, and they tend to be a little bit high when I do wear them. So they are very, they become very uncomfortable in a way that every time I have to wear these shoes, I have to use some. Every time I wear these, I try to add to put socks in here, and then I place my feet in it so that it, I can so that I can kind of move in them without being uncomfortable if you get what i mean but these are very beautiful pair only that they are just sitting here for no reason i wore these how many times i can say twice but it was painful next is this i love the color of this shoe I love this vintage design plus brown and black looked really appealing in my eyes I loved it these were on sale that's the reason as to why I bought them and I thought because they have a platform I never really used to have platform shoes and I told myself let me just get a few or maybe one pair or two pairs of platforms so that just for those times when I need to be a little bit comfortable or maybe when you go to the club and you just need a little you need to be a little bit more comfy it's the reason as to why I bought these but they are very platform heels are not supposed to be uncomfortable but these shoes the very first time I wore these I almost fell down I'm not that type who doesn't know how to walk in heels but i almost fell down in these shoes simply because they are uncomfortable i don't know if you can see how they were made like there's a way they come in and i don't really understand this design if you if you see it from here you might think nothing not, nothing is really wrong with this shoe but when you wear it and then last but not least are these these are such a beauty if you see them you'll be like wow these are beautiful shoes the reason as to why i bought these shoes first is because i had like the initial design of the valentino studs they are really cute and i of course i cannot buy valentinos so i had to look out for a nice dupe and i got this on uh, jolly chick i love the combination of this nude and the pink i thought wow i have to get this surprisingly when they reached these are the most these shoes these shoes are the most uncomfortable shoes i have in my entire shoe collection you know the reason as to why i have this in here <laughs> this is a sponge that i tend to use when i try like this shoe i've never really used outside because they are so uncomfortable it's a beautiful shoe but every time i have to wear it i use this sponge i kept this particular sponge just so i can put it here and place in my feet when i do this they become a little bit more wearable but i don't see myself wearing these so i'll probably i don't know give them away or i don't know what i'll do because if i can't wear these i don't know who can i really don't know who can wear this shoe 
expectations versus reality yeah so that has been it i hope this video has been helpful to you so next time when you go out there to buy your next pair of shoes please try and try it on wear it a few times walk in it in the mall it's allowed you can walk in it for a few times until you feel that you are comfortable and then buy it so this that has been it in this in today's video i hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe if you're not subscribed like and comment on this video and please make sure you are you've clicked that bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video so thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video bye